Good afternoon. I'm going to talk about what exactly happens when we come to your farm to perform an inspection. Normally, we give the producer a call 24 hours in advance, and if you're a poultry producer, we will contact your integrator so that we are following proper biosecurity protocol. Normally, we begin the inspection by review of the on-site records. Critical documents that need to be kept on-site are your nutrient management plan, your state or federal NPDES permit, and other operational records. Once the records have been reviewed, we will begin the facility site review portion. These inspections can take up to two hours to possibly a week if you're a large dairy facility with numerous land application fields. During the facility site review, we encourage the producer to walk the facility and the production areas with us so you can ask questions to us. If you're a poultry producer that does not land apply your litter, we will ask to see your litter, third party litter agreement. I'd now like to introduce you to one of East Tennessee's fine, finest producers, LeBron Conley. Well, I would like to say that I have been very fortunate with my experience with my inspections, uh, uh, all the way from uh, the help that I've received from the NRCS to learn about record keeping from the first time that we applied for a permit. And it's been a learning process, and I like to, to look at everything as a learning process. And I think producers should keep in mind before their first inspection that uh, if they've been keeping their records properly, there, there's no need to have any uh, anxiety about an inspection. And uh, I have had actually two inspections, one for each CAFO uh, from uh, Angela and Letha, and then I've had one in EPA inspection. And I'd like to point out that none of my inspections came from a complaint from a neighbor or anything like that. It was just the requirements for the inspection of individual CAFOs. And it has been a pleasant experience, and, and we use the experience to actually learn. And I've asked questions of, of Lisa and uh, Angela, and it's been a learning process for me and a good experience all the way. And I, I think what producers mainly need to keep in mind is uh, everyone has a job to do. You know, the inspectors that are coming there, that's their job. And, you know, our job as farmers is uh, to, you know, to maintain a good environment for our families and for our neighbors. And, you know, the common, the common job that we have is protecting the environment. So we're not at odds with each other. Uh, you know, we're, we're looking to, to a common goal, and we're on the same page as far as wanting to protect the environment goes. So I think the, the main thing that uh, I can bring to this is that, uh, try not to uh, listen to what neighbors that have had a bad experience with an inspection uh, that stem from probably uh, something on their part that they weren't doing right or whatever, or maybe just had a neighbor uh, that complained about uh, you know their operation that maybe wasn't in compliance. So uh, try not to read anything into that, and uh, it, it can just turn into a very positive learning experience, you know, uh, for the producer.